everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So over the past few months, I have become obsessed with kettlebells. This is kind of my personality. Like I find something I enjoy. I want to get really, really good at it. And it's all I think about. Like all I've been thinking about is getting really good at like pulling a kettlebell up off the floor and over my head. Now, luckily having this skill set is something that is going to help me with my career. Animal Crossing, not so much. So over the last few months, I have been taking a lot of kettlebell classes on YouTube and virtually. So today I'm going to share six of them with you. Now, keep in mind, this is not like the fitness reviews that I used to do. I don't want it to seem like I'm pitting these incredible women against each other. So instead, we're going to talk about these three things. I'm going to give you the sweat factor, the overall vibe, and who I think this specific workout would be good for. Now, keep in mind with some of these coaches and trainers, this is the only workout that I've ever done with them. So it's not going to be a comment on like the whole of what they have to offer, just this one specific class. So let's dive on in. Let's, um, let's start with the big one, Caroline Gervin. If you missed it, <sighs> yeah, look, I still stand by everything I said in that video and I gave her an 8.8 .8 out of 10. So no one should really be complaining. But anyway, let's talk about this workout. I did Caroline's 30 minute full body superset kettlebell workout. Caroline structured this workout in supersets, so two exercises paired together. So we did a specific exercise and then it was always paired with an alternating kettlebell swing followed by 30 seconds of rest. So let me just say right off the bat, I loved this workout. I thought it was a great challenge and it was really strategically programmed. You'll see a few points in the workout where I added a few exercises like snatches and cleans and that was simply because I've personally been obsessed with working on those. So for the sweat factor, I'm giving this a nine out of 10. This was super sweaty even with the rest. And a lot of that is because she paired every single strength exercise with a power exercise, AKA that alternating kettlebell swing. And power exercises are explosive and fast by nature. So so they are more likely to get your heart rate up. And when your heart rate is more elevated, you typically sweat more. As far as the overall vibe, I thought it was strategic, athletic, and really relatable. You know, even though Caroline is like literally the strongest person on earth, I'm convinced, she was still like huffing and puffing with us, taking breaks, laughing at herself. And it was really nice to see. And then for who it's good for, I would say like, intermediate level and I'm only really saying that because it has a lot of kettlebell swings and alternating arm kettlebell swings so it is a tricky exercise so even if you are more of like a beginner or advanced beginner I would say just make sure that your swing form is on point because you're doing them so much and I don't want you to hurt your back jumping into Penny Barnshaw this was the very first workout I had ever done with Penny you know I stopped doing the fitness reviews and never really got around to her so I was really excited to try this because she came highly requested. I ended up doing her 30 minute total body kettlebell workout and the structure was two circuits of six exercises and each exercise was done three times in a really unique pyramid style. So first round was 40 seconds on 15 seconds rest. Then we did 30 seconds on 10 seconds rest, then 20 seconds on 15 seconds rest. I don't really know what the science is behind that, but it was interesting. I, I enjoy like, it seems strategic. I enjoyed that. Can you tell I'm always trying to figure out people's strategy with programming? It's like, a blessing and a curse. And this was actually one of, I think it was the only YouTuber workout where we actually did cleans and snatches. You just don't see that a lot. Um, so I really enjoyed that because again, it's a skill I've been working on. Like all of the YouTuber workouts, I did change a few things here or there just to make them more specific to my goals. But overall, I really, really loved this workout. For the sweat factor, I gave it a seven out of 10. You can see my lovely glisten by the end of it. The overall vibe was like, was bright, it was fun, it was friendly. You know, even though she didn't talk to us, which if you watched any of my fitness reviews before, you know that I love being coached during a workout. I still felt like it was very personal. So I really enjoyed just her overall vibe. And then who it's good for, I would say like an advanced beginner, even though it did have a few more complex kettlebell specific exercises in it. I thought, I thought that overall the pace wasn't as challenging as Caroline's was with those alternate 
alternating kettlebell swings after every single exercise. So I just, I felt like with the rest time in there and how many times you are doing the exercise to really perfect it, I would say this is more of like an advanced beginner, which is, there's nothing wrong with. All right, so we're gonna take a break from YouTubers and we're gonna talk about someone that maybe you've never heard of, Roxy Jones. Roxy is a New York City based trainer and fun fact, it turns out that she is like best friends with Charlie Atkins, who I've talked about on this channel a lot. So I took her total body power and strength class. It was a full hour and it was an incredible workout. <laughs> so something that I really loved about Roxy's class was that she had an incredibly strategic warm up. And I have to say out of all of like the YouTubers that I have tried their workouts of, you don't see this enough. Everything had a purpose and it's not just to get your heart rate up. It's a lot of mobility, activation, and it's really just to make sure that you are ready for the specific movements that she has programmed. And I know that that sounds like, duh, like so obvious, but I'm telling you, like most people don't do that. So as far as the structure of the class, it started with an EMOM circuit. So that stands for every minute on the minute. Basically we learned a short flow that we perfected on each side and then we added reps to it each minute. So one minute one, we did one rep, minute two, we did two reps, then three, we did three reps. And that was a really nice challenge to build confidence in a flow of movements together. And then we jumped into four supersets. She paired strength with more of like an endurance agility, power movement, obviously since it's a power and strength class. And then we ended with the most brutal AMRAP or as many reps as possible that I've ever done in my life. So thank you for that, Roxy. <laughs> so a lot of you know from watching my videos, I am just a group fitness girl at heart. I love being coached. I love being called out. I love the energy of working with other people and knowing that I have someone watching me helps to keep me accountable. It helps me show up and it helps me work a little bit harder. Literally like, why are there so many goddamn noises on this street? Oh my God, what is... I'm gonna like murder someone. Do you hear that? I, I think we have to like go in another room. We're in Kevin's room, Kevin's office. That little doll I got for him and it is him, okay. Anyway, let's finish this out. So for the sweat factor, I'm gonna give her an eight out of 10. This was a lot of power, a lot of agility, and it was a really, really big endurance challenge. As well as the strength exercises, you know, you're flowing through a lot of things, so it does take a lot of energy. I would say the overall vibe was like strategic, smart, but also Roxy has like a very chill energy about her, which I really enjoyed. As far as who it's good for, I would say like intermediates, or beginners looking for a challenge. Like this was, this was a push. I mean, as far as the skills, yes, were a challenge. Roxy broke all of those down, but just like the endurance factor of this class was really, really challenging, but in a good way. So if you like a challenge, go for it. Next up is Heather Robertson. So I actually did this workout way back when I reviewed Heather. Spoiler alert, I loved everything that she did, but we're just gonna kind of insert that old video right here. All right, so now we're getting into like her bread and butter, right? Those were just some random programs. I'm very hyped for this. Um, and I was very excited because I. I just got my Bowflex adjustable kettlebell in the last few months. So I was really excited to do a whole kettlebell program. I love that she warmed us up unilaterally, each arm separately in all directions, because especially with kettlebells, you're really using that whole shoulder complex. So this was just an excellent, excellent warm up. And then finally we jumped into the actual program. So unfortunately my kettlebell is a little long simply because it has to fit the plates in it. So this didn't work super well for me and I just ended up putting it into a squat and press, but loved that we were getting that full arm complex in there, she hype. And then we got some lunges. So we already saw a squat, we've got a lunge. Spoiler alert, we hit some hip hinges in this. And this is a great example of some unilateral and stability training, which is super important because we live in an unstable world. We don't use our limbs the same at the same time or in the same way every single day. So really important to train ourselves for daily life and also just to identify and balance out muscle imbalances. Love the deadlift not so much the upright row. This is actually, um, this is just like, everyone has their own personal opinion. I find that an upright row puts a little bit too much strain on the front of the shoulder. So I don't do them. I don't really program them for my clients um, or for me. So I just did the deadlift there. Single arm kettlebell swings, love it. So that's our hip hinge, as well as we just did the deadlift. And we're getting a little power here, like a totally different tempo, which is really important too. 
I got distracted because Charlie Atkins tagged me in her story and you guys know I love her. She's my number one. I'm so creepy. And then jumping a little forward, one arm uh, hinge and row, which I love. I went up in a little weight right here, challenged myself. And again, lots of single side training, lots of stability work, lots of hyped up dances. And then we head into a different type of squat. So this is a great example of using different angles. Literally just by changing the angle of the arms, of your grip, of your feet, you can hit a totally different part of the muscle, which is really important because we use all different parts of the muscles on our body throughout the day for different things. Some great, very simple core work here. I love that in this, we, we used our core the entire time. Um, and then when she brought us down to a plank to hit the obliques, she didn't bring us into hip dip. She didn't bring us into rotating. She brought us, why did I say it like that? <laughs> rotating. She brought us into anti-rotation. And then we went into some rotation. So just a great strategy right here to work the obliques, to work the core. I just thought it was such smart programming. And then we ended it out with some side leaps, a little cardio, jumping over that dumbbell. Um, yeah, I mean, really loved it. All right, I'm back. So. The sweat factor. I'm gonna give it like a five out of 10. You know, we weren't doing anything too explosive, which is fine. And keep in mind, like sweating doesn't mean it was a good workout necessarily. Sweating means that your body needs to cool off. As far as the overall vibe, I would say it was like very zen, simple, and concise. And I love that. I love simple workouts. So I did really enjoy this one. As far as who it's good for, I think it's good for all levels. You know, there's great ways to make it more challenging, less challenging, kind of structured within the workout. And I think that if you're just a person who really likes to zone out, forget about the world, and just focus on like one thing, this is a great workout for you. Hopping into another non-YouTuber, Jenna. Jenna, I don't know how to say your last name. And I hate that because no one ever says my name right. I'm so sorry, Jenna. So I've actually taken Jenna's class at City Row a number of times before, which is a rowing studio in New York City. So I already knew that I was gonna like vibe with her style. She does have her own virtual program now called Ballet and Bells, which I love. So it's a mixture of like bar and kettlebell work. And I just think that is the coolest thing. She's kind of taking her dance background and her love of strength training and putting it together. Throughout the class, we practiced a lot of basic kettlebell and reactive drills. We started with a really fun stability-based warm up with a yoga block and then Jenna broke down the basics of every single exercise. Honestly, I felt like I was taking a master class in kettlebell work and it helped me correct a lot of the little nuances within my form so, so much. We got a ton of individualized attention and I walked away feeling so much more confident in things like cleans and swings. At the end of class, Jenna asked us to rate like how hard or how intense we thought it was on a scale of one to 10. Most people said between like a five and a seven. And she just kind of like took a second to remind us, not every workout needs to be like 10 out of 10 intensity. Does that sound familiar, everybody? So if we're always working to max intensity, your body is never going to build. It's just going to keep itself from like falling apart. The sweat factor here, I would say like a four out of 10, again, same thing like I said about Heather, not a bad thing. We were really practicing specific skills, which was really, really cool. The overall vibe, Jenna has like a very chill vibe about her again. This felt very like small group coaching. You know, if you were to take like a small group class or something, that's what this felt like. Not because there were like two of us there, there were a bunch of us there, but Jenna was so good at making sure that each and every person got individualized attention. And then this is gonna sound weird, but it was safe, you know, it was like a safe space to try something, mess up, try again, work, not be perfect. I mean, I, I just think that's such an important thing when it comes to group fitness and a reason why a lot of people don't enjoy it because they don't feel safe. Who this is good for? All levels, but especially beginners. I'm not saying that if you are more advanced, you won't be challenged, but I'm saying that if you don't understand kettlebells, you need to get in Jenna's class right now. All right, we are gonna wrap it up with Anna. I don't even know, like, Growing Ananas, Growing Anna, no, Anan. So I ended up doing Anna's 30 minute advanced kettlebell hit workout. So let me just preface this with, I didn't really like this workout and that's okay. You know, number one, you're not gonna vibe with every coach. Number one, you're not gonna vibe with every workout. And number three, I'm not judging the entirety of Anna's work off of this one workout, but I do kind of want for an educational standpoint to break down what didn't really click for me with this specific program. First of all, it's probably marketed as a hit workout for SEO, but it's not, it's not a hit workout. 
So the structure was 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, no repeating either. So it's just, it's not a hit workout. And then the other red flag to me was honestly just the programming. It felt really random and like there was just no strategy behind it. You know, since we were doing both kettlebell and body weight movements, personally, I would have supersetted all of them. So for example, doing like a kettlebell lateral lunge followed with some skaters so that you're working in the same plane of motion. Another example, you could do like a single side racked split squat with a side plank. So in this, you're working both the obliques and that like anti-lateral flexion. And there's nothing wrong with any of the exercises that she chose. And you can 100% throw random exercises together and call it a workout, but you can also do better. I actually ended up just putting in cleans and snatches in place of any exercise I didn't wanna do, <clears throat> burpees. Because again, I've just been trying to work on them. So as far as the sweat factor, I give it an eight out of 10. We had a ton of jumping, ton of jumping, a lot of jumping. <laughs> As far as the overall vibe, I would say it's athletic, it is fast paced, and it was it was an intense workout. Who is it good for? I would say like beginner to intermediate. Don't get me wrong, it's not an easy workout, but there weren't any like advanced skills in this. You know, we're doing like high knees, we're doing squats. Like there, there was nothing too advanced within this that I would say like beginners steer away, but it is going to be a really big endurance based challenge for you. Oh, I am looking at my notes, sorry. There, there is, um, um, like two different kettlebell swings. There's a normal swing and then like a swing to a squat, which is more advanced, but you only do it once. So like if I'm again going back to Caroline's where we did it every other exercise, that would be intermediate, right? Because you really have to perfect that. For this one, there's a less risk of you getting hurt if your form isn't absolutely perfect. Let's go see if it's less noisy in my freaking room. Is it still loud as fuck up here? Jesus. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys got to see more of the apartment. So I hope that you found that enjoyable. Definitely like drop any kettlebell workouts that you've done on YouTube that you love. I'm trying to get more under my belt. I do have another kettlebell video coming out next month, partnering with Jane Simmons, who I partnered with once before on this channel. She is kettlebell certified. So we're gonna work out in person together and she is gonna coach me through an entire kettlebell routine and really break down the basics, the why. So if you wanna know more about the science of kettlebells, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And I'll see you in the next one.